finish up today's press conference with uh, senior offensive lineman and two-time captain Matt Farniak. Um, and just before we get started with Matt, we will have uh, post-practice tomorrow with Coach Shenander, uh, an assistant or two, and three or two or three players. So we'll get you the details on that. Uh, first question for Matt, um, Joe Nugent, WOWT. Hey, Matt. Um, I'm curious about uh, Adrian. Coach said that he will be starting this Saturday. Um, what kind of improvement have you seen from Adrian uh, this offseason? Um, how is he maybe different now? And I guess how happy are you for him to have this opportunity again? Uh, I'm extremely happy for him. I mean, he's gotten a um, – I mean, just as the days have gone on, he's gotten a lot better of uh, just making the right reads, trust in the pocket. And uh, we as an O-line have – now we've kind of proved to him to have faith in us and we're giving him a lot more time to make his job easier and uh, he's been doing a great job with it. Uh, Lincoln Journal star Parker Gabriel. Hey Matt, I think back in the spring we were talking about um, Greg Austin sort of setting the expectation in terms of you guys being a veteran group and I guess how much do you relish the chance to start the season against Ohio State, knowing that you're you're going to get a good, really good test off the bat in terms of your ability to run the ball uh, and, and protect the quarterback. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, they're 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 obviously a high caliber team. I mean, they haven't played a game yet, and they're what top five in the nation. I don't know exactly what they are, but I mean, that's a tip of the hat to them. I mean, they're a great team, and I mean, those are the type of guys that you want to play and you want to kind of test your uh, strength against and see where you stand with those guys. And it's it's always fun when you get to fight uh, these top type of teams. Uh, Jake Bartecki, Kara and you. Uh, Matt, the Buckeyes lost Chase Daniels, who was one of the best defensive linemen in college football last season to the NFL. And Coach Frost had said that, you know, he doesn't think they've gotten any worse. How do you guys feel uh, your offensive line will match up with their defensive line? Uh, I think we'll match up fairly well. I mean, obviously, they're extremely talented. And, I mean, if we uh, just – it's going to be a battle. I mean, they're going to win some, we're going to win some. And, I mean, really, at the end of the day, we just expect it to be a fight, and that's what we're looking forward to. Thanks. Thanks. 24-7 Sports, uh, Brian Christofferson. Hey, Matt, how have you seen uh, Bryce come along at that right tackle spot? How have you helped? him as a guy who's been in his shoes playing as a, a red shirt freshman just kind of speak on that if you could um I mean he's just grown as um understanding the offense understanding what he needs to do and then just being more confident in uh what he needs to do because I mean he has all the tools and all the uh, everything you need to get the job done and I mean especially being a young guy you just kind of got to build that confidence up and understand that you're there for a reason you've earned that spot and then just kind of Prove, prove to everyone, prove to yourself that you've earned that spot and that's your spot. Thanks, Matt. Lincoln Journal star, Steve Sipple. Hi, Matt. The Nebraska offensive line is widely regarded as a strong suit on the team. Do you feel like you've had, you guys have had that sort of lead up to the opener? Have you had, do you feel like you guys have had a good, you know, good run of practices? Um, yeah, I think we've been coming together as a unit really well. And, I mean, with so much time we've had, we've been able to kind of work together constantly and understand of um, the offense better, understand how we want to get behind each other in our blocks. And, I mean, uh, just kind of come together as a meshing, uh, coher like coherent unit. And it's uh, it's been – it's so far been really positive. How's the transition – been for you to guard guard how do you feel about the way you've come along personally uh, i really like it i mean the biggest adjustment was everything kind of happens faster um there's not quite as much space between uh you and a tackle versus you and a dn and uh, i i enjoy it personally it's uh everything happens faster and it's a lot more of a, a power type of game which is uh which is a lot a lot more fun to me so i'm i'm really excited for it thank you thank you Husker Online, Sean Callahan. Yeah, Matt, I was just curious. Uh, we talk, talked a little bit about Adrian, but what did, what did you see from Luke McCaffrey that, you know, put his name in the conversation where Coach Frost said he's almost like a second starter at quarterback? 
I mean, he's he's an extremely talented guy. I mean, honestly, uh, whenever if if he's behind us, I mean, it, there's really no drop off, and he does a great job of pushing himself and Adrian. I mean, he's an ultimate competitor, and I mean, he's he's someone that loves this game of football, and uh, no question, um, if if he ever is in the game and we need him, there's a hundred percent confidence between between. Uh, behind him because I know he's going to make the right call and I also know that he has confidence in himself to do the make the play and uh, I think we have time for two or three more um, Evan Bland World Herald Omar World Herald hey Matt obviously this has been an historically long off season for you guys I'm, I'm curious what looks and feels different around the guys the last day or two just knowing that this is finally game week for you guys uh, i mean we it, we finally kind of got out of this groundhog day i mean it was just it was a constant of keep going to, like something's going to happen keep going something's going to happen and and finally we're here i mean we've taken all the right steps to get to the point where we are and i mean really we're just we're just finally excited for we've been waiting for months for this and i mean we just all around everyone just can't wait for it All right, Sam McEwen, Omaha World Herald. Hey, Matt. Uh, your position coach, Greg Austin, is now the run game coordinator. What what difference in positive impact do you think that'll make on the run game this season? Um, I think it's going to be a lot more uh, uh, just hard hitting, uh, hit the hole and uh, earn your art, earn the yard type of runs. Um, I mean, it's it's. Uh, I, I think it's just going to be a lot more of a physical game, and we're uh, we're going to kind of just try and. Own, uh, own the line of scrimmage and press it for as many yards as we can. And we'll finish up uh, Lincoln Journal star Parker Gabriel. Hey, Matt, along the same lines, I'm curious, what have you seen from from the guys, um, you know, behind Dedrick Mills in the backfield, a bunch of young guys, and, and what do you make of their coach, um, you know, running the football so far through camp? Uh, can you repeat that? You kind of cut out a little bit. Yes. What what have you seen from the young running back group behind uh, Dedrick Mills, just to, in their approach and the way that they're running the balls, you know, within your scheme behind a veteran offensive line? Um, they're excited and um, they do a great job of reading the holes and where to hit it. Um, I mean, I'm really impressed with them because uh, at first I kind of thought they were going to be a little squirrely and try and try and outrun everyone, but they've done a phenomenal job of understanding where the holes are and where they need to hit it and where to just take the yards when they can. And uh, they've, they've done a great job, especially for young guys, of really just understanding that a four yards on a run is a great job. All right. Thank you, Matt. Thanks, everyone, for jumping on today and being patient as we got started. And uh, I'll send you the info for tomorrow's Zoom uh, later today or in the morning.